Are you looking for ways to convince more people to do business with you? Would you like your website and email calls to action to convince more people um, and lead them down your conversion path? Um, I'm Dennis O'Hara, the Digital Orator, and today we are going to talk about ways to strengthen your CTAs or calls to action in your marketing messages. Thank you for joining me today. You write a lot of email and uh, social media marketing messages, and in them, I hope you include what's called a CTA, a call to action. What do you want them to do? You can have the best graphic, the best video, the best text, the best everything, but if at the end the customer's going, what do I do next? you're not going to get that conversion. So the team from uh, Red Website Design, a company out of the UK, has put together an infographic of nine different um, calls to action tips that will help you convert more customers. The first one might seem like a no-brainer, but a lot of people don't understand this, and that is to keep it brief. CTAs that are too long and wordy are ineffective. Generally speaking, you should keep your text short and sweet and stick to the point. Keep your CTAs to no longer than four words if possible. You can make the most out of this limited word count by using strong verbs. Some examples of short generic CTAs that work well include get started, learn more, join free, and buy now. The best calls to action create a sense of urgency. Creating a feeling of urgency or scarcity is a well-known and effective trip for boosting conversions. There are a few different ways that you can do this, such as using time-related language, shop now, start now, sign up today, using words like limited, reserve your spot, last chance, and sale ends tomorrow. And you can also use a countdown timer if for offers that are expiring, and that really creates a sense of urgency as they see the seconds ticking down. The idea is to create a sense of urgency, uh, FOMO, if you call it, fear of missing out. That's popular in the lexicon today. Um, so let's talk to about the next uh, CTA um, tip, which is to try reverse psychology. The idea is to offer the user two choices. Rather than a simple yes or no, use the power of reverse psychology to push the user towards the action that results in a conversion for you. There is a great example of this trick on Neil Patel's blog, which offers readers tips and tricks to boost traffic and conversion rates. A question asks simply, want more traffic? With two options available, yes, I want more traffic, or no, I have enough traffic. That sort of choice really makes a business owner think. To the extent possible, personalize your calls to action. Personalizing your CTAs can boost your conversion rate by over 200%. This doesn't mean that you should put click here or first name everywhere, but it pays to use the data you have available. Subtly adjusting the wording of your CTA depending on user location, whether they're an existing customer or new lead, and other um, relevant factors. Remember, it's likely that at least half of your users are browsing your content on a mobile device. So our next tip is to use responsive design. Before you publish, make sure that you've checked the placement and appearance of your CTAs on a variety of screen sizes and software agents. An ideal position for your CTA is high on the page in the middle column. This is where most people's eyes go when they visit a landing page. And if you use a tool like Constant Contact, um, the, it automatically reformats your website for um, computer and uh, mobile device and tablet and um, uh, smartphone, you know, all those types of things. So um, as a certified constant contact partner, I do have the tools and experience available to help you make the most of your email and social media marketing. Now let's talk a little about design. Uh, the best calls to action utilize contrasting colors and white space. To be effective, you need to make sure your CTA stands out against everything else on the page. Using contrasting colors is the easiest way to do this. If your CTA is the same color as the rest of your text, it will blend into the background. Using plenty of white space around your CTA also helps it to stand out more. Size also matters. Make your CTA text bigger than the surrounding text. Another design element that you can use to um, make your call to action stronger is to make it into a button. There are many different ways you can design your CTAs with plain hyperlinked text, graphics, or photographs, but buttons convert the best by far. In fact, conversion rate optimization experts at Crazy A go so far as saying, the call to action is so important, so essential, and so overwhelmingly powerful that you should not attempt to make yours anything but a button. And they say this because the human brain is wired to expect action when a button is pressed. Buttons are also quite tempting. We really want to press them. And I can't stress this enough. Before you send out anything, double check 
And if there's any doubt in your mind, triple check everything. There's no point in having a super effective CTA if the user clicks it and it goes to a broken page. After you finish building your web page or email, make sure you click through all your CTAs and check that the links are all going to the right page and that all forms are working properly. And finally, don't take my word for it, test and refine. It's unlikely that you'll be able to create a perfectly optimized CTA right off the bat. Instead, this is an ongoing process and you should be testing and improving your CTAs continuously as you learn more about what is most effective for your particular audience. A-B testing is a traditional way to do this. Split your audience in half and show them two different versions of your CTA. The version that converts the best wins. Don't change multiple elements at once, but compare variables such as color, placement, and copy individually. So there you have it, the tips from the folks at Red Website Design. I will include a link to their infographic in the description of this video. In the meantime, if you have any questions, any thoughts, anything to add, anything to share, or suggestions of topics that you'd like to see explored in future videos, please leave them in the comments. Um, click the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and connect with me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, um, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Dennis O'Hara, the Digital Orator. Thank you again, and have a great day.